In today's high watt soundbite, we're going to avoid downtime in our studios by cloning our system drives. Well, a couple of weeks ago, I had an experience here a very late night in the studio that ultimately led to my having to do a full restore from a clone to my main internal hard drive of my DAW. Now, I don't know how many of you have had to actually do that before, but it is not a fun procedure. Of course, my wish is that you never have to experience what I went through a couple of weeks ago. But in my experience, sooner or later, if you do this business long enough and you work with DAWs, you're going to have a meltdown. And that meltdown is absolutely going to come at the very worst possible time that it could. You're going to be probably under a deadline. You're going to be stressed out. And I'm just saying, there's just about nothing less fun than when your software on your system starts to go haywire. So for today's session, I absolutely want to spend a few minutes and go through the procedure that I use to create a clone, to test that clone, and to keep that clone updated so that it actually is useful when you need it. So the cloning software that I use here on my Mac is Carbon Copy Cloner. Absolutely killer program, really simple to use. I think the license for it is like less than a hundred bucks. Let's check it out. What is Carbon Copy Cloner? Let's look it up. 55 bucks Canadian. Are you kidding me? That is going to be probably the best $55 that I can spend in my life is on cloning software for your Mac. Okay. Awesome. No brainer. It's not going to break the bank. Watch how simple this software is to use. Let's go ahead and rock it. Okay, so the very first thing I want to do before I even launch Carbon Copy Cloner is I want to absolutely unmount any drives on my desktop that have nothing to do with this procedure we're talking about. So it's sort of just an extra checks and balances kind of procedure to just make sure you're unmounting any kind of drives that have nothing to do with this whole subject. So let's go ahead and do that. I've got SSD 1 here and 2. I'm going to go ahead and eject those. And then I'm going to get down on the floor and I'm going to turn that drive off. Okay. I don't even want that thing spinning anymore. I, it, it, in fact, it's an SSD. It's not spinning at all, but I don't even want that drive on. I don't want it to be able to mount. I don't want disk utility to be able to see that drive. Right. And so by unmounting those external audio hard drives that I record all my song files to, I'm absolutely safe. I know I'm not going to record over those drives or make any kind of mistake in the next 10 minutes. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up uh, Carbon Copy Cloner. Boom, you can see it's a very simple interface. Right now I've got no saved tasks in, in my program, so this is very much what it would look like on your screen if you opened it up for the very first time. I'm currently booted and running from my iMac 2019, that's my main internal hard drive. It happens to be tuned and dialed in perfectly right now. The thing is running like a Ferrari. All of the programs that I use every day are just singing right now. So this is the perfect opportunity and the perfect time to make a clone. Let's go ahead and do it. First thing we have to do in the procedure is we have to click to select a source. I'm going to go ahead and select iMac 2019. That's the drive that I'm currently booted from. Next procedure is we click to select a destination. In this particular case, I've got my iMac audio. One of the things I love about Carbon Copy Cloner is as soon as you've selected that source and destination, you can just go right up to this task plan. This little area right here will tell you exactly what Carbon Copy Cloner is about to do. So we read into this. Carbon Copy Cloner will clone iMac 2019 to iMac Audio. Only items that have been modified since the last backup task will be copied. Right now, today, we're making a brand new clone from scratch. So there is nothing on this destination drive. It's, it's blank. I've already erased it. So we're going to go ahead and clone a perfect clone copy of our my iMac 2019 to what I'm calling iMac Audio. So here we go. I'm going to hit clone. All right. I've got Carbon Copy Cloner making a perfect clone of my internal system drive on my iMac to this new destination. Now, I think this is probably going to take at least a couple hours, so I think I'm going to go have lunch and I'll catch you on the flip side. All right, so we're back and Carbon Copy Cloner has finished that task. I've gone ahead and named the task uh, iMac Mac Backup, where you can name it whatever you like, something that you'll be familiar with. 
And the very next task that we want to do is we want to immediately check and verify this clone. Well, in my experience, the best way to do that is to just go ahead and start from this cloned hard drive, this external clone. And then we're going to take it a step further by opening up like the latest session that you're working on or something. Whatever the current work that you're doing on your computer, that's the ultimate test is to go ahead and boot from that new clone and then open up the very latest project you're working on. And all of that should just open up no problem. Of course, it's all going to take a lot longer to do because you're, you're working off an external, you know, spinning 5,400 RPM drive in this case, whereas, you know, the internal is ATA bus, right? So I've had to actually stop my screen recording because of course I'm going to restart to another drive, right? So I've done that. And the very next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to go down to my system preferences. I'm going to click on startup disk and I'm going to select iMac audio, which is the clone that we just created. And I'm going to hit restart. And of course that's going to take some time. So maybe we'll grab some tea and relax for a second. Okay. So we're back up and running. Of course, that did take a little bit of extra time to start from that external drive, right? I can absolutely tell right out of the gate that I can see my iMac audio drive is on the very top tier there, but I'm just going to verify it go about this Mac. You know, if you go up to your, your Apple menu and you get about this Mac, you can absolutely see the startup disk right there. And I can verify that it is iMac audio. And I recommend you do that. Just make sure you're booted from that clone. Okay. So I've just opened up the most recent session I've been working on and everything loaded up. There wasn't a single issue. So, that to me is a true test of a clone. Don't just boot from that new clone, open up the latest project that you're working on and just make sure everything opens up and, and, and everything's good. So now that I know that I can close it, I'm not going to save that. Okay. So I've just made a clone of my internal system drive and I promise you that I will sleep better tonight knowing that that exists. It's sometimes just such a huge effort to get these systems running like a, a well-tuned Ferrari. And I just can't recommend enough that when you get that done, get that system cloned so that when something goes south on you and sooner or later, it will, I promise you. And of course, it'll be at the worst possible time. It'll be right when you're in the midst of a crunch or something. And I've been there before and I just highly recommend and encourage you to make sure that you're backed up so that when that kind of inevitable moment happens one day that you're just prepared. You probably don't have to update this clone that often. It really depends on your own personal use. If you're putting software and new sounds and stuff on your computer all the time, then yeah, you'll probably have to update more often. The beautiful thing about updating this clone is that Carbon Copy Cloner doesn't rewrite the whole thing. It only updates what it has to, to bring it up to current. And it also means that it takes very little time in most cases. If you haven't done a lot of things to your main system since the last time you did the update, CCC will be pretty quick to do the update. I mean, it'll probably only take you 20 minutes. You know, as a general rule, I'll update that clone only when I make some kind of major change to my system. If I don't, or if I just sort of can't remember, I've been touring or whatever, I'll just sort of do it every six months. Just make sure I'm sort of up to date. Because at any given time, if this thing goes down, that clone can save you days, literally. So make a clone of your system drive today. Well, thank you very much for sitting in on today's session. And if you feel this session has value, please consider subscribing to my channel. And by all means, go ahead and share this session with a friend or colleague.